Hey guys, it's Shelly here with lovecreelaugh.blogspot.com. I'm here tonight to just show this um, little mini album I've been working on forever for my husband. Um, I started it at the end of last year, towards the beginning of this year. I'm not sure exactly. I'm pretty sure I started it at the end of last year because my intention was originally to give it to him for his birthday, which was early February. And then I was like, optimistic, I was like, oh, I'll just give it to him for Valentine's Day. And then I was, that came and got, went, and then I was like, okay, for our anniversary, which is in mid-April. That came and went, so needless to say, I mostly just got finished with it on Saturday. Um, and then I still have to do some, um, I have to type up the word, you know, the journaling that I want in on each page and print that off on some nice cardstock um, to put in here, and I'll have it finished up within the next couple days. But for the most part, the decoration of it is finished until I get the um, journaling done, and then... Um, I might add a few little touches here and there, but for the most part it's pretty much done. So I'll go ahead and show it. Um, it's a... Well, I made the album out of um, a medium weight chipboard. I bought 12 by 12 sheets of medium weight chipboard, and it's black, uh, from Joann's um, last year. And I just cut it down. The cover, the front and back cover, are 6 by 8 and a quarter. Um, is the size that I decided to make the, the cover. Now the pages on the inside are just a little bit shorter. You'll see when I turn the first page. Um, and what I used paper-wise was this um, Recollections paper pad called Union Square. And it's a designer, or I'm sorry, a signature, special, signature, recollection signature paper pad. Uh, it's gorgeous. Uh, it's got a lot of glitter and um, just super pretty paper. Blacks and blacks and creams and reds and just really really and taupey color. It's super pretty. Um, so basically, this is the cover. I'll scooch this up a little bit. Um, that's the cover. And basically, like I said, it's just the black um, chipboard. And then I put some of the. I use this scallop punch for this red paper and then I put just one of the sheets that had this word love and glitter I use that as part of my title and it, the title is basically 10 things I love about you um, and each page is a different number um, and then I made this flower out of Stampin' Up um, it's like the thick or the wide red and ivory ribbon and I just twisted that with um, hot glue gun and then there's some recollections pearl on there and then my road pin two little flowers from Michael's and then a recollections little flowers here and here and then a recollections bling and then this is just a piece of one of those um, corrugated cardboard pieces that came from close to my heart in a pack and then I used my label maker to do all of the t the 10 different items that I love about him. You'll see that throughout the, in the album is this label maker. And then this is just some trim for my stash. I don't, it's not a brand, it's just something I picked up at one of the local stores. Um, this, this lace I love, uh, of, and I think, I'm not sure what that one is, but I got it from Archivers. And then there's a little bit of the Tim Holtz tissue tape down here. Um, that's pretty much the whole cover. I will be putting some stuff on the rings and some charms and stuff that I'm going to make, but for the most part, that's the whole cover. And then the first page, um, the back of the cover, I didn't give it its own. I just put a picture of me on there from when, that was not long after we met, actually. Um, and just, uh, some of the paper from the line, and then I did a a die cut out of my Cricut. It's just basically that. I can't remember the name of that shape. Anyway, it's just a small wallet size picture of me, and then there's some pretty little taupey lace there. And then the number one thing is how he takes care of me. Um, and then I'm going to do a journal spot here, and I'm going to obviously make it much more um, specific as far as the journaling and how he takes care of me and what you know what I love about it and all that kind of thing. So, um, and otherwise it's just the paper and then a photo mat of some burgundy. It's, I think that's a, hmm, it's not showing up on here very well, but it's a old Stampin' Up! Oops, burgundy colored cardstock. 
I don't know the best way to show this. Maybe like that. Maybe like this. Yeah, that's probably the best. Um, that burgundy color. I don't know if you can... There. There it is. So, I just kind of matted the... And then the journaling is going to go... I'm going to probably make it about, you know, like that. And type that up in a Word document, print on some nice cardstock. So then the next page is the second thing, number two. My heart still skips a beat for you. And I put that on the um, musical note paper. And then I just put a, I think, actually, this, I'm not sure if it's Recollection or Prima Flower, actually. <laughs> Another one of those shapes. I think it's called Top Note, actually, that Top Note shape. And then some pretty um, velvety trim. And that's pretty much all that's going to go there. And then I'll put the little journaling here. Um, and then this page is number three. It's Mr. My, Mr. Handyman. Um, I used a love stamp that I got from... Hmm. I think it's an ink to do. And then I got a tag in here that I'm going to put some... And there's a Technique Tuesday stamp um, that I'm going to put the journaling for this Mr. Handyman page. Um, this was a border strip from... Gosh, I... I did this some of these pages so long ago that I, I really have no idea what paper line it is, but um, if you want to know, just message me and I'll I'll look for it because I still have the rest of the embellishments. I just would have to pull it out and look at it, and that's uh, my mind's eye, Brad. And I think that's it for that page. And then number four is his baby blue eyes. He's I just put blue eyes because he hates it when I say baby blues, but they I mean I don't know. Um, so that's just a banner that was on the paper. Um, it's glittery. It's super pretty. And then this is a part of the paper line as well. I just cut it down for the photo mat for where I'm going to put the journaling. I might actually, on this one, I might actually just put a picture of his face because his eyes are just the lightest blue that you've ever seen. Well, that I've ever seen. And he's just... I'm, so I'm, I can't decide on this one whether I want to do journaling about his eyes, you know, and what I love about them or if I actually want to put a picture of him there. This is a little key lock, uh, lock, and then there's a little, um, my mind's eye brad with the little pointer finger, and this is another little ribbon flower that I made with another my mind's eye brad, and here's just, I just hand cut out these leaves out of that same, um, note paper that I used on the opposite side. Um, I think that's everything, for, oh, and then just some lace at the bottom. I have tons of this lace, so I use it a lot. Um. So then the opposite side of that page has a key, and <laughs> number five on this one is nice pockets. My husband has a very nice backside, <laughs> which probably you guys didn't all need to know, but I mean, it's in my album, so <laughs> sorry. But he does, he has a very nice backside, which I totally appreciate. So, and here's a, um, a little photo map that I could put a picture of him in there. And then I was thinking I would probably do the journaling out here. It's just a key that I put some ink on. And one of my, I stamped there. It's a Technique Tuesday stamp. And then I put a brad there from close to my heart just to add a little more um, glittery. And then that's just some random ribbon. Number six is here. It says your spirit. Um, and then I'm going to do the journaling here and my forever friend. And then there's just a little old vintage ticket looking thing. And then a heart that I cut out with a punch. And then I matted the photo, the journaling spot with um, some of the paper from the collection. And then this is glittery around. Isn't that pretty? I love this paper. So that's number six and number seven on the opposite side. So this is what they look. I'll, try, I'll flip through so you can see all the pages together. But number seven is, he's so amusing. Like, I find my husband so funny. He's always got something funny to say and or do or whatever. Um, so that's kind of what I meant by so amusing. And then I'll journal over here, just kind of the quirky stuff that he does or whatever. And then down here it says our journey. And that's, I just kind of inked up this flower a little bit. It was white. And I used some Tim Holtz. I think it was burlap, frayed burlap maybe. And another My Mind's Eye Brad. And these are, um, what's it, what are they called? The sticky keys, I think. From October afternoon. And the word journey was already on the paper. And you see the glitter. And it was already on the paper. Super pretty. Number eight is your endless tolerance for my craziness. I don't know if you guys can tell this from my YouTube videos, but I'm a little quirky. 
and a lot sassy <laughs> sometimes. Um, and my husband just kind of takes it all with a grain of salt and just kind of, he puts up with me better than I think anybody else in the world could. So, um, I appreciate that about him. And this one I just kind of cut apart to just give it a little more added interest in to put, because there's a long one, so I just kind of broke it up a little bit. There's some paper doilies back here that I sprayed with Lindy Stamp Gang. And there's a little doily sticker down here from one of my sticker sheets. Another My Mind's Eye Brad. And that's pretty much it for that page. And then the burgundy cardstock behind the photo map, or the journaling spot again. For consistency, number nine is your work ethic. My husband works his tail end off. I don't think I've ever met anyone who works harder than my husband, and I just love that about him. Um, but not at the expense of family. I mean, he's always, he works his tail off from, you know, seven to six, and then he comes home every single night. He doesn't stay to, at work past six, because... That was just kind of one of those things that we agreed upon when we decided to have Cooper is that he would be home every night by 6 because I wanted him to spend time with, it, you know, our child. So, uh, but he does work a lot and he has a great work ethic and he owns his own business and he's very, well, he's, I mean, it's a successful <laughs> small family business, but, and I just appreciate everything that he does. So I wanted to put that in there for sure. This is one of those crocheted fla little flowers from Close to My Heart and it was uh, from the... Bohemian collection, I think it's called, and then that's my mind's eye, my mind's eye, and then just two roses from Michael's, and then the burgundy card stuff again, and then oh, one of these little love clips, I think those are my mind's eye as well, but I don't really know, to be honest with you, I've had some of this stuff in my stash forever, and I don't know if you've noticed, but the corners of all the pages that aren't the cover, I did a corner chomper thing, it's one of those big chompers. Um, so that is number nine, and then number ten is You're an Amazing Father. Um, this one, you should know that you're charming, adorable, and ever so sweet. I think I was going to put a picture of him and Coopy here, or maybe I was going to put a picture of him, or of Jake, Ashley, and Cooper together there. I'm not sure which way I want to go with that either, but I really would like to journal something about him being a great father, because he truly is a great father, um, not only to Cooper, but to my older two as well. And then I just used some recollection spling here. And then the back side. This is um, the back. This is the back cover. And then I just basically made this a pocket because what I, my intention is is to just type up um, and maybe even laminate the story of how him and I met. And I'm um, just kind of have it in there. Not, and then it just says the story of us. And these are the basic gray. Um, chipboard pieces I got a while ago. And then that's a little... I think, I don't know if that's from Indie Chic or what that's from, but I love that um, little sticker. And then that's the re the rest of this Recollections thing from over here is over here. And that's what this pocket's for, is just kind of tell the story of how him and I met. And our, you know, just kind of our love story. Like, I love to hear those kind of stories from people. Um, a friend of mine's husband passed away recently, and that was one of the stories I wanted to hear from her, is how, how she met her husband and, you know, just kind of their love story. So I'll go through it again, um, let me tilt this up, I'll go through it again quickly so you can see the pages, um, next to one another. So there's the cover, here's these two, and here's these two, here's these two. Here's these two. Here's these two. And then the final two pages. So that's my whole album. Um, like I said, I do still have to do some, the, all the journaling and any pictures that I want to put in there, but you know, that would be probably pretty private as far as the journaling piece of it. So um, I just wanted to share it now and just show you the, the finished lay layout. Finished album uh, so you guys can take a look I really love how it turned out it's super simple and basic but um, it's just exactly what I wanted it to be for me to give to him so that he can just you know I don't even know what he's going to do with it to be honest with you but um, it was something nice that it, you know I really enjoyed making it for him so um, hopefully he'll get something out of it or appreciate it I'm sure he will but anyway I appreciate you guys watching tonight and I hope you guys have um, a great week thanks for watching